With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is you give it two compounds here A and B. You have to tell the dipole moment of these compounds. So these are some values given to you. Now there's no need to remember these values, right? You don't need to panic by looking at the values that you don't know the values, how to calculate it. There's no need for that, right? You just have to find out that which of these compounds is going to have a higher dipole moment. Once you know that, you can take any value depending on which has the higher value, right? So if you talk about the first uh, compound here, now, the direction of dipole moment here will be towards nitrogen, right? This will also be towards nitrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative and the direction of dipole moment is towards the electronegative atom, right? And here also it will be towards nitrogen atom. So, all in all, this the resultant will be towards the downward direction, right? The dipole moment is going to be higher. Now, one reason is this. The other reason is that it has less steric hindrance, basically, right? It has less steric hindrance or this can be also written as less SIR, steric inhibition of resonance. So there's less SIR here, right, because the groups are less, right, whereas if you talk about B, the compound B, there is a very large amount of steric hindrance, right. There is more steric hindrance or you can say that SIR is going to be more. So due to, due to more steric hindrance, the dipole moment, the dipole moment is going to be less, right? Because there's more steric hindrance, right? So the resonance will not be effective. The resonance will not be effective. And due to the less effective resonance, dipole moment will be less. Whereas if you talk about compound A, right, the resonance will be effective here. Resonance will be effective here and this is going to have a higher dipole moment in comparison to compound B. So the dipole moment of compound A is going to be greater than the dipole moment of compound B, right so now if you look at the options in option number a sorry in option number one a has a higher dipole moment in comparison to b so this is going to be the correct answer for the question option two cannot be the case because here a has a lower value of dipole moment again option three cannot be the case they do not have same values option four is also incorrect by the same reason so the correct answer is option one that's all for the question for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.